Well, you know, we, we uh, the biggest challenge, and, you know, I talked to a number of you guys, was uh, coming in here after, you know, winning two big road games and, you know, um, thinking that, you know, that we didn't have to work. But uh, I think our guys came out with intensity. We didn't play real smart early on. Um, but I think once we got got moving and executing, um, you know, then we made some adjustments. You know, I made some adjustments and tried to slow them down with what they wanted to do because they're so athletic. They attack the basket, and I think that's what we tried to do. Uh, on offense, I think the second half, we rebounded the ball a lot better. We went to the offensive glass, and, uh, you know, we started to be aggressive, and we got to the free throw line, which we wanted to do. Uh, but they're a good team. They, they got a lot of pieces, and uh, this was a very good win for us at this particular time. And now we just, you know, we got to get ready for Siena. You played a lot of zone against them. What do you think that did for you? Well, I think it slowed them down because, again, they're very athletic. They can take it off the dribble. And uh, I thought the first half, we, you know, we gave them too many foul shots. You know, they made eight. Eight, they made eight, eight, shot, eight foul shots, I think. They were eight for ten, and I, I just didn't want them to do that because uh, they, they're very good, you know. And they tried to slow us down with the extended press and, you know, a little bit like what Manhattan had did to us. But uh, I think we got into it quicker. We started to move the ball around. We started to share the basketball. And uh, we, we got it inside. I thought when Kevin got that ball and dunked it for a three-point play, I thought that was pivotal. Yeah, the but, first, uh, yeah, it seemed like the first uh, maybe eight minutes of the game, you know, it was a very perimeter offense. Nobody was getting into the lane. Yeah, and, yeah it was. But it was, then. Yeah, we're both. Kevin, I mean, or, uh, yeah. really got you going there. Yeah, we're, we're, I mean, we're both. I mean, we're, we're, we're still, you know, again, you know, Phil has that capacity, especially when he gets to the middle of the floor. You know, he's very, uh, very athletic, and he can score the ball. He can put it on the dribble, put the ball on the floor to dribble it, and he could attack the basket, plus he's a good passer. So, you know, it's very pivotal. We we wanted to put him in a pivotal spot. I thought that really helped us. Cassius seemed like he hit some big shots. Big shots, you know, and, and he's that type of player. And, you know, and, and again, he's, you know, he's been playing real good defensively. He did a great job on the, on the guard for Manhattan. And, uh, and then Quinnipiac, he did a good job. And he has those capabilities, especially when teams do play a zone. And, you know, he stepped up and made some big plays. And then Malcolm was aggressive. You know, Malcolm's an aggressive player. And, he, you know, he's a lefty and he attacks the bucket, and we want him to be that way. So, yeah, this was a real good win for us. And, you know, we had a good crowd. We had a lot of people from Canisius come up. Now we got to hope that they come to Sunday and they don't sleep in. I think uh, 15 assists and 23 field goals and, and seven different guys scored your last nine field goals. So, yeah, our bench did a good job. You know, Kiefer Douse, I, I think, you know, he's so agile. He's so athletic. Chris Atkinson gives us a lot more quickness and a lot more of a ball handler. <coughs> Crumpton is, crump, you know, Crump is a tough play. I mean, that one play where he, you know, we isolated him and he took it to the basket, got a three-point play. I mean, that's a big-time play. You know what I mean? But it was kind of like homecoming from him because he's from here and, you know, it was, it was great for him and his family. Bleeker had that horrendous turnover pass and then he came right back and had two baskets. In the yeah, night. yeah. Well, you know, we just keep moving forward. Seems like this three straight kind of grinded out wins for you guys. Is that um, something you like to see at this juncture? <laughs> I think it's great. <laughs> I got no voice. <laughs> My voice has been grinding. So. No, this is this is you know we, we just got to keep trying to move forward and like I said and and, and be ready to go against a, a, probably one of the most improved teams in the league with Siena, so they're picked in front of us in the league preseason right and uh, you know what did you think was the difference? Big thing today? Uh, I mean rebounding we did it we did get a job on the glass in the second half and uh, free throws we made free throws on the stretch and uh, defense um, what was uh, they had sixty one points I mean. That's pretty good defense. The uh, the first the start of the game, the first six seven minutes, you guys were kind of stuck on the perimeter. Yeah, not for a sure. lot of uh, getting in the lane. Not a lot and we had a, we had some trouble communicating. Okay. I mean, okay. that was 
it's not an excuse, but it was it was loud in there, and we oh. haven't really been in an atmosphere like that this but year. Then, but once we settled down, it, yeah. Then you had that spurt where you, the you know you you flashed against their zone in the middle and really made a bunch of you had seven points in like a minute. Right? Yeah, that that's coach uh, getting us into what we need to get in, finding the weak spots in their in their defense. But I uh, got to give them credit. I mean, they got a really good defensive team, um, really good at pressure in the ball and. Um, we haven't seen much of that. I mean, my Manhattan does a lot of that, but them, I mean, they really pressure pressure in the perimeter. Cassius, you hit some big shots. I, I don't know what, I don't know how many points you finished with, but um, but it seemed like you know really key times. They were like getting a little hot, and you responded just uh, mm. against their zone. Do you kind of like were you eyes lighting up there? You want you wanted the ball or what? Yeah, a little bit. I try to take you know shots when I'm open, the best shots I can take. Um, like we do in practice, we do pass, pass, back drills um, on the top of the zone, just being shot ready. Coach is always preaching that, being shot ready. Yeah. Um, so, you know, just having them, having my legs, you know, ready and bent and uh, knowing what, if I catch the ball when I'm open, I'm supposed to shoot the ball. So it's pretty You're almost like your scoring average is almost maybe double from last year. Mm. Maybe not double from the end of last year, but overall, you know, do you feel like offensively, uh, you know, how do you compare your offensive game now to maybe a year ago last January? Um, just overall, I've just improved, um, you know, my shot, um, first and foremost, and, um, knowing, I know my, uh, my free throw percentage is down, but I've, I've shot a lot more free throws, so getting to the line and stuff. Um, but yeah, just knocking down shots and, and, um, trying to shoot a good percentage from the three point line and, and just from the field. And that's work. That's work. He puts in work every time I'm in the gym, he's in the gym. You know, Phil mentioned defense cash is, uh, you know, like it. You had a rough stretch there. Manhattan, you know, kind of lit you up on the perimeter the first time, and now you put, put strung together, mm -hmm. you know, a bunch pretty some pretty good games defensively. You know, kind of what has gone right on the defensively on the perimeter for you? Um, well, first, um, that Manhattan game at home definitely woke us up. It was a wake up call. Um, we were struggling with defense from the very first game of the year, so um, I don't know what it was, but. I think uh, it really drilled it into our heads against Manhattan when uh, uh, Shane had 32 on us. Um, so that game, the next game we played, um, I think it was, who did we play after that? Yeah. yeah. St. Peter's. Um, and then St. Peter's. And then you we, had had a, we had a really, Quinnipiac. yeah, we, we had a just, yeah. we had a good defensive game against St. Peter's. We just couldn't score the ball. Right. Um, and then we strung, and then we went back to Manhattan. And you know we just locked up. We we took. We knew that that was going to be our our um our ticket to the to the win. So we strung a, strung together a couple uh, defensive games, and you know we, we our offense was all right. We we got a couple wins. And Phil, you said earlier you guys couldn't really communicate well with the noise. Being a junior, this is your fifth game. How how was that the most intense game you've probably played in this rivalry before? Or? Mm, yeah, probably so. Probably so. When we were running out in the beginning, I was like, dang. There's a lot of people here, and that I mean that kind of got us ready and uh, got us pumped up and got me excited for sure. Um, just because we haven't been a part of an ap atmosphere like that yet this year, so it was good to kind of get some of the younger guys that you know that feel, because uh, I mean we're in the home stretch now, so we gotta be ready for every game. And Thanks to our fans too, we had a we had a great yeah, turnout. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Our fans you know, when we were running out there, they were so that's that's awesome, and and I hope they can keep supporting us for the rest of the year.